where do I begin? No, like truly, where, where do I begin? Where do I start? How do I address this properly? It's a challenge to get all the thoughts that are going crazy inside my head about this into one video. I don't know, I don't know how do I start and how do I end. But I'm just, I'm just, I guess I'm just gonna go. I guess we gonna start from the beginning. We're gonna go a little bit further back and then head forward again. I guess that's what we gonna do. So today is outbreak day in the Last of Us universe. That's what we know it as. It's the day everything went to shit, right? And Naughty Dog, uh, you know, they revealed a lot of information today. We saw the Last of Us gameplay at State of Play. We saw the story trailer and everything at the State of Play. Cool. We know the single player was going to be promising. Now, today, a few days later, uh, Outbreak Day, Naughty Dog grabs their balls, just grabs their big balls, just handful of their big balls that they carry around. And they say, they look us in the face and they say, you know what? There ain't no Last of Us Part 2 multiplayer. Oh, you a big man, huh? Huh? Oh, you, you a big man. You just gonna look me in the face and tell us you not getting no multiplayer, motherfucker. Let me read the quote. And there's two quotes that I've got. One is from Amelia Schatz. What a fitting name, Schatz. That's... That... That could not be more fitting because that's exactly what Naughty Dog did to us. They shat on us, literally shat on us, destroyed my whole day. This was literally the longest day at work ever for me. The day just dragged, just dragged. Let me, let me tell you what this broad said. She said, we're focused, matter of fact, I'm not going, I'm not, not necessarily going to disrespect her, this woman, because this, I'm sure this was, maybe it was her fault. Actually, let me not, let me, let me not take blame away from her yet. Where she said, and I quote, we're focusing on a single player experience. How grand. So we're just making a single player game for this. Lead game designer. You're the lead game designer, so I am putting blame on you. That was Emily Schatz, who told US Gamer in an interview. And then there was another Naughty Dog developer who said this. And this comes from Anthony Newman. He said, multiplayer will not be included in The Last of Us Part Two. I know we had kind of announced that it would have multiplayer, but as the game developed, it became so ambitious so grand in scope and so intricate in its complexity that it required the full focus of the studio to deliver this single player experience. First of all, okay, I'm a, I'm a wordsmith, okay? I'm a wordsmith. Don't, you can't out slick a can of oil. Don't bullshit a bullshitter. Everything you just said was fluff. That was literally a non-statement. Really? You gonna try to jazz me with these words, bro? You, you gonna try to jazz? It became so ambitious, so grand in scope, and so intricate in its complexity. Is this a Picasso? I know some of these Naughty Dog deep, deep throaters, you know, look at every Naughty Dog game as a work of art. Really, bro? I'm not buying that. I know you selling it, and you got plenty in stock, but I'm not buying it. I'm not. I'm not. Y'all the y'all the naughty gods. People always call them the, the naughty gods, the god tier developer. They can do whatever. But they couldn't 
chew gum and walk at the same time. You don't need a full team to develop a multiplayer. You need a little, uh, you just need a smaller, a smaller team. And y'all telling me y'all couldn't get this done. I'm not buying it. It's bullshit. I refuse this statement. I refuse this notion. I'm not buying it. I'm not. I'm sorry. If if y'all are the, the, the if y'all have this reputation, if if y'all are so pro, prolific, this this is y'all the developers that everybody praises as the top in the industry. I'm gonna expect your product to reflect your resume and your reputation. So I'm not buying that. I expect the most from who is given the most praise and that's y'all. So I expect the most, I expect that. And it, it would, it, maybe this wouldn't hit so hard if we didn't get prior confirmations that it would include multiplayer because there are articles out there that they did confirm they are working on a multiplayer, that there would be a multiplayer. There, there are even posts like on LinkedIn and post on the Naughty Dog website that they are hiring for multiplayer designers, multiplayer developers. Oh, I, the, the multiplayer de developers that y'all hired they must be uh, taking it real easy sitting on their ass at the studio. Taking it real easy, just collecting a paycheck because you didn't put dumb motherfuckers to work. That's clear. That's clear. So we had all reason to believe that there would be a multiplayer. All reason. And I'm, I'm, I'm also not buying this bullshit that you needed the whole studio's focus because we already got it was, it, we already got reports that Naughty Dog was working on a, p, their PS5 game, a new IP, and I believe it. I believe it. I do not believe the PS5 is coming out next, well, I believe the PS5 is coming out next year, but I do not believe the PS5 is coming out next year, and Naughty Dog is not at least in the conceptual development stages of their next-gen new IP. I know y'all are, so I'm not buying that. So if y'all can work on even if even if it's the early stages of a new IP for next gen, you're still working on it. So, and that could have been some time y'all spent on a little bit of multiplayer. OK, like this has been the worst generation for multiplayer games, the worst. The worst, like it has been awful for me, someone who mainly plays at least uploads multiplayer games and like gets my, my, my most of my satisfaction from multiplayer competition right that was my bread and butter anybody who knows me since i've been on youtube since 2008 it's 2019 now y'all know multiplayer online experiences has has been my bread and butter i love a single player game just as much as anybody but multiplayer is my bread and butter because that's where i get my challenges from that's where the 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 real experience human versus human comes from and, and people even like i always see people bring up the in the comment section bring up oh your channel has changed not that i care because you know like i said this like i'm not this kid in college anymore when i started where where i have the ability to play uh, all these games and put in uh, as much time as, as as I used to and upload all these videos. So, and I don't I don't depend on YouTube like so many other people. YouTube ain't my full-time job, I got a career, okay? So I'm not really, it's not the fact that I, I care about these comments, it's the fact that the reason why my channel has changed, specifically this generation, is because there has been an extreme lack of good multiplayer games an extreme lack. So I try to take multiplayer games wherever I could get them. There is, it's not like they're just, you know, laying all over the floor. There ain't a whole bunch of multiplayer games just laying all over the floor waiting for me to pick them up. No, it's slim pickings out here. It's rare. And, and I know people in the comment section are gonna bring up, oh, what about this game? And what about trash? Doodoo butter, ass juice. All of them that you're about to name. All of them. All of them.
and the ones that are not as juice and doo-doo butter, they really weren't worth, just weren't worth pay, playing that long. I might have got, you know, my, I, I might have smashed real quick, got my quick hit in, and then just got out of there. I got what I needed, got the quick satisfaction, but, but the game didn't have what it took to make me, to make me stay. I'm a rolling stone when it comes to some of these multiplayer games because y'all just ain't worth keeping around. So no, don't don't start naming me off multiplayer game. This even if you do, in comparison to last generation, even the generation before that, where where multiplayer was pretty much introduced on a wide scale, this generation is the worst. It's garbo, garbage, the worst. So yeah, I take multiplayer games where I can get them, especially good ones, especially good ones. Be and contrary to what a lot of you believe who are uncultured swine and unexperienced peasants. The Last of Us multiplayer was probably the most under, one of the most underrated traditional multiplayer games ever. It was great. But most of you wouldn't know that because there's still this narrative that Naughty Dog uh, can't make good multiplayer games or they don't make good good multiplayer games or their games is all about the multiplayer Naughty Dog makes amazing single player games Nobody's denying that but I don't know What is it in people's minds that because Naughty Dog makes single player games? That means their multiplayers aren't worthwhile or, or it can't be great because the single player They're so single player focused Why can't both be possible? Why is it mutually exclusive to some of you? I don't get that. In my opinion, the two best Naughty Dog games in recent times are Uncharted 2 and The Last of Us. You know what those games had? Multiplayer. And they had good ones too. So this whole notion that they can't make multiplayer or multiplayer uh, takes away from having a good single player, bullshit. There is no, y'all you, gonna have to bring me a Harvard study or something. Bring me a study from Harvard, Harvard that scientifically and, and graphically shows that, mo, that there can't be a good single player and a good multiplayer in one package or that uh, trying to include a multiplayer will make a single player worse or that excluding a multiplayer will make a single player better show me this correlation show me this connection show me this study uh, are there cases of a game having a good single player and having an atrocious multiplayer sure that's a different case Ta attacked on multiplayer is very different from a well-developed multiplayer and that's why this is why i this is what i don't get about you windex drinkers every time someone brings up hey would have been nice to have some multiplayer in this why do all of you automatically reach for tacked on it's a gimmick games as a service multiplayer does not have to be any one of those it doesn't but y'all want to use this 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 fallacy of an argument that multiplayer has to be this 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 little this evil mode and, and component in a video game i'm not saying every game needs a multiplayer that's not what i'm saying but there are clearly some opportunities and some places where multiplayers would clearly fit very well and be very a, a, a very good and balanced multiplayer if properly developed it's clear it's it, it worked in the in the in the original last of us there are people i played the original last of us for across six years across six years there's not many multiplayers i do that did it have its bullshit of course every multiplayer game does there is a dedicated fan base online on the last of us right now that have been playing that game for six plus years last of what what's the, what's the amazing thing is so so many of you claim that Naughty Dog isn't known for their multiplayer, but there's people online right now that you that on the Last of Us on PS4 because they shut the PS3 servers down. There's so many people online that if you turn on the Last of Us right now, 
go to multiplayer. You will find a match almost instantly. You do not have to wait. Meanwhile, there's multiplayer games that came out last year, this year, and are already dead. They're dead. Dead. You know why? Because those multiplayers were actually bad or trash. And these multiplayers were actually good. And guess what? Naughty Dog developed them. Just because your bum ass didn't try them out doesn't mean they weren't good. They were good multiplayers. People invested six plus years into these multiplayers. So you can't say it wouldn't fit. Clearly, clearly it would fit because it fit into the, in the, in the original Last of Us. So there's no reason it wouldn't fit into The Last of Us Part 2. So that excuse is just out the window. I'm not, and I'm not trying to hear from nobody who didn't play The Last of Us multiplayer. You don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. You don't know how good the multiplayer was. Because it, 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 it was honestly very good. And honestly, a lot of you bums who be like, uh, I don't really care about multiplayer. <laughs> I don't care about multiplayer. I just want the single player. Let's keep it real. You trash at multiplayer games. You trash at online games in general. You probably play all your modes on easy and explore. What's that mode that uh, the, the Assassin's Creed games have where, where it's pretty much a nature walk and you just walk around and you sightsee like sightseeing mode or some shit? You y'all probably play on that. So I'm not trying to hear the opinion on no casual bum who plays on easy explorer or sightseeing mode. Okay, y'all opinions are irrelevant. Y'all irrelevant, and y'all can't tell me nothing about like Last of Us single. Play. I beat the Last of Us single player on grounded on all the on multiple times on the hardest difficulty multiple times. Eyes closed. I could do that shit in my sleep. I could do that during my sleep. That's not a challenge to me. By the time I beat Last of Us ground, Last of Us on grounded, grounded, I, I barely used any weapons to beat that shit on grounded. That shit is a cakewalk for me. I had like six mollies, like a freaking a, 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 enough shotgun shells to take out a whole army, bruh. My my inventory was fucking crazy. That that, that shit is not a challenge. I play games for a challenge. That shit is not hard. So y'all can't come at me with that either. Like, I, I, I think like the, the, the success of so many single player games this generation for Naughty Dog might have backfired. It might be a bad thing. It really might be a bad thing at this point. They've had so much success with single player games. They're like, ah, fuck it. Who needs a multiplayer? And, and, and PlayStation is like, embracing this culture of of their studios just omitting multiplayer and then the fan base because you know a lot of these fan bases think think it's sacrilegious to question naughty dog god forbid someone question any move that naughty dog makes oh that's that's blasphemy that's heresy oh my god like Suddenly multiplayer is this evil thing and this evil word and nobody cares about multiplayer. No, people care about multiplayer. Just some of you slaves don't care about multiplayer. You know why? Because PlayStation through their actions and all their PlayStation first party studios told you not to care about multiplayer by their actions. So they, so suddenly all of you sheep were like, you know what, bro? the shepherd said don't care about multiplayer. So you know what? We don't care about multiplayer. It does. Who cares about multiplayer? Multiplayer, multiplayer. Who cares? The, la the Last of Us, when you go online, it tells you how much time you've actually put into the game, right? How many hours, how many days and, and things like that. I don't know what, how much time I put into this game or ridiculous amount of time. And when we're talking about what, the, what multiplayer offers, right? Versus a game without multiplayer. And once again, not even gaming needs multiplayer. Uh, a quality single player game can, can compensate for no multiplayer, especially if the multiplayer does not fit, okay? But it, like I said, it clearly fits. 
I played, like I said, I played this game, this online for across like six years. With The Last of Us 2 not having multiplayer, I'm going to beat this game two times and uninstall it and never play it again. I'm not one of the, I'm not one of you weirdos. Ooh, uh, I'm the, I, I play, I play my single player games 50 times. I beat it 50 times. Uh, it's so good. I keep playing it over and over again. Shut your dumb ass up. Oh, it's so good. I play it 50. I'm going to beat it twice. I'm going to get the platinum and I'm going to never touch it again. So if this game is like, let's say 25 hours, okay, I'm going to put 50 hours into it. I can do that in less than two weeks and then I'm never going to touch it again because I'm sorry, I don't get that much enjoyment out of doing something over and over again when I know it's going to happen. Nothing's going to change. It's going to be the same game. But you know what would fix that? Some good old multiplayer. Some good old multiplayer that could keep me going because I'll be playing against actual people. It adds, it adds replayability, legs, and longevity to the game. That's not arguable. That's facts. That's big, fat facts. Okay? And even, and even from a company standpoint, they could monetize the game. They could monetize multiplayer. That's not... not that don't do nothing for me as a consumer, but I'm just pointing that out as a, as a plus for them. They could monetize the multiplayer and make a whole lot of money. Who knows how much money they made from Last of Us, the original Last of Us multiplayer mi microtransactions. And yes, that game had microtransactions because I know a lot of you people think Sony are these, 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 this, these morally correct and holy God, uh, you know, righteous developers. Oh, they don't do my, no. Th they've been had microtransactions in their games. They been did that. I, some of you really don't understand the potential that a lot of these Sony exclusives have with multiplayer. Yes, a lot of them are big without it, but they could be bigger without compromising the integrity of the game. Some of these games had the has the potential to even make it into esports if these these games these multi the multiplayer if it one it had multiplayer and two it was developed correctly it can make it to the big stage and then that would add to the competition and and the and that and, and it would keep the game in, in in a conversation and it would add to the competition of the community if we if this whole community you know actually liked this game you you would see so much inter so much of us interacting and and all jumping on last of us multiplayer it would be a cultural thing i'd be in i'd be in discords i mean i'm in a whole bunch of you know people's discords and you know what, it, what what what's happening in our discords right now all of us we, we be in we be in one discord on, on in three different rooms because everybody's playing a different game because we don't really have no multiplayer game we all could embrace and play so we all just be playing something different. The, the fun factor is, take, is taken away because we're all separated. We can't find a game we all want to play. It's difficult. And, so, and Sony, be, you know, just encouraging this culture with PlayStation of no multiplayer games, they just take away the possibility of games that we could be enjoying in this community. They take, they take, they take away from it. The, the Order 1886 is, is an example of a game that multiplayer definitely could have worked. Like I said, do I think most Sony exclusives need, need multiplayer? No, but they're definitely, when, when it applies, when it could function well, when it's applicable, it should be there. That was one of the games that could have been in there. Absolutely. And it would have worked well. I could, I could definitely picture how amazing that could have been. I could, I could have picture, I could picture how amazing The Last of Us 2 multiplayer would have been because they would have learned from their mistakes in the last, in the original Last of Us multiplayer, which was still good. This is a missing feature. This is a missing mode. There's no way around it. I ain't trying to hear no damage control. This is a missing mode, a missing feature, point blank, period. I'm not trying, I'm not, there's no way around it. I'm y'all, I, I need y'all to keep the same energy as if this was any other game, any other sequel in which the, uh, in which the predecessor of the game had a mode and then it was missing in the second game. This, this game is missing content, period. I ain't trying to hear nothing. I ain't trying to hear none of that. I ain't trying to hear none of that noise y'all talking about. This game is missing 
a major component. This game is unfinished. It is incompleted. It's incompleted. I ain't, so I ain't trying to hear none of that noise. They they given us an incomplete game. This is this this game is incomplete. It's incomplete. Y'all afraid to criticize Naughty Dog? I'm not. This is an incomplete game. Big facts. I'm keeping that same energy. Straight up, like straight up. If any other game did this, I don't care whether it's multiplayer focused or not, or what most of the fan base wants. It's a missing feature. Period. That's it. So I'm gonna treat it. I'm gonna treat this game like it's missing a major feature. That's it. And people want to ask why I don't get excited about games like. When it, when it comes to this like this, this argument that that's that started with Death Stranding, people are like, oh, so when your favorite when your favorite developer announces a game, even though you don't know what it is, you're not gonna get excited. Perfect example. This shit right here. This shit right here. Perfect example. And and I was like really, I was like, I was like looking forward to this, and I still am, which I'm gonna get to. But if you notice, I wasn't like just bursting with excitement because the multiplayer wasn't announced. Right. And this is why I say, no, just a, a namesake of a developer making a game for me doesn't mean I'm just doing backflips because then they end up doing dumb shit like this. OK, so that's why I'm extremely reserved. I'm extremely cynical when it comes to games, especially early on. I'd be damn near cynical up until the game's release. Because I just know devs are going to find a way to fuck up. So that's why I just don't be excited. You know, as soon as they put a, some of you be like b doing backflips and like, you know, just, just be, you, like, as Jack move would say, your dick be touching the ceiling. As soon as they put the, put the logo of the game on, on, on the screen and y'all don't even see no gameplay. Not me. I, I need a lot more. And this is exactly why this is my exact point. People be like, oh, you just trying to be the fun police. You're getting old. No, this is the exact reason. This is the exact reason right here. Perfect example. <sighs> this is just killing the interest. Some of you might have seen a tweet, right? And, you know, there's cross play, cross play between Call of Duty and uh, in, in Call of Duty between, with, in P, with PS4, Xbox, and PC. And there was this tweet of dudes talking shit. It and it oh it was so good it was like it was like angels playing the harp it was so beautiful and toxic it was dudes talking so much shit to each other because we knew we knew what crossplay PS4 X Xbox PC would do especially with Call of Duty that was the culture in Call of Duty back then it was a whole bunch of shit talking and it was beautiful. It made so much entertainment in the community. Just you don't get that no more. You don't get that type of entertainment hearing people shit talk no more. And it's and, and I miss it. Oh, so do I miss it? Shit talking. I love that level of competition where people are talking shit. And once again, Sony games not having multiplayer takes away from that. I can't shit talk nobody. Not the opportunity. They just remove the opportunity for it. That beautiful level of shit talking. They're not, they're not creating an environment for that because they're just not putting, they're not encouraging multiplayer games. This generation, I'm ready for this generation to end. I'm ready for it to end. I'm ready for next gen. Hopefully there'll be more and better multiplayer games next gen. Hope, hopefully Sony will get on board and make some damn, put some damn multiplayer in their games. <coughs> it was said that, uh, you know, the PS5 and next generation consoles make development time actually a little bit less. Because if the, if the case is too many resources and too much time and too ambitious and it's too much scope, oh, well, hopefully less, you know, these consoles making it easier will make it easier for y'all to put some multiplayer in y'all shits. There was some things being passed around that, you know, maybe there's hope that they could release the game at a later time. Probably not. It's unlikely. It's probably not going to happen. I doubt it. So what multiplayer game am I really going to play the rest of this generation? Tell you what, though. I'm not going to take my foot off of Neil Druckmann's face. I'm going to keep my boot on his face. I got 
I got all his tweets, all his tweets, notifications is going to be sent to my phone every time this man tweet. And I'm, I'm going to be pulling up on him, pulling up on him, asking where that multiplayer at. I'm not, even if you don't put multiplayer in it, I'm not going to let you forget what you did. I'm not going to let you forget what you did. And I, and I need y'all to, yeah, send this video, Set, tag them. Tag them. Tell Naughty Dog if if you on my side. Tell Naughty Dog how you how you feel about this about missing multiplayer games. And even if you one of those people who didn't care about the multiplayer, once again, the multiplayer wasn't hurting you, and it wasn't doing nothing to you. It wasn't taking away from your precious single player experience. It wasn't. Somebody asked me on Twitter, "Would you have rather the game be delayed for a multiplayer?" Hell yes, I could wait. I'm good. I can wait because that single player I'm only going to play for two weeks that multiplayer I could have played for a much longer time so yes if they if, if you gave me the choice wait till November of next year or wait till even farther than that well by the time the, the PS5 might be out but if you gave me that choice to wait if I had to wait to get the multiplayer yes I would wait I would I would rather them delay the game yes I care that much about multiplayer games I do I'm sorry y'all don't feel the same way a lot of y'all don't. Well, that's, that's how I feel. So it's unlikely the game is going to come later. Is it possible? Yes. It's, po it's possible, but it's unlikely. But Naughty Dog needs to hear us. There, has been, there have been instances, and we've seen it, of fan bases and audiences speaking up and letting, making sure we're heard and, and, and letting our voices be heard and they've made changes and overturned or done something made a response replied i i i don't want them to just get away without addressing this y'all at least got to tell me some y'all can't just oh say no multiplayer and never address it again y'all gots to tell me some i want to hear it some bro not not all this not all this 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 fans this this wordsmithing you doing i need to hear something more than that you ain't just going to slide and, and like, you know, nah, bro, mm -mm, not like this, not like this, not like this, bro. Like I'm getting old, bro. I'm 29. I know some of y'all don't, some of y'all don't consider that old. I'm getting old. Like I'm, I'm married. I'm, I'm probably going to knock my wife up in a few years. So I'm, that means I'm going to have kids. I, the, 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 the opportunity, the time I have now, I don't have a lot of time now in general to play games. So it takes me longer to play games now than before. So when, so when I eventually knock my wife up and have kids, have a baby, you know what? I'm going to have less games. I'm going to have less time then to play games. So that's why I be wanting all these multiplayer games now. Because I know when I'm a little bit older in a few, in a few years, I ain't going to have this chance to like be deep in these multiplayer player streets i don't got that much time left my g i don't got that much time left there ain't that much time left for me before the little bgs is running around and i gotta be screaming at them and tell them to sit down sit down and eat your eat your broccoli eat your vegetables while i'm trying to play some multiplayer games in peace i don't got that much time to do that my time's running out fam i'm running out of time g Naughty Dog, you playing with my emotions. Naughty Dog has an agenda. They have a clear agenda. You know what their agenda is? To fuck me over sideways. That's their agenda. That's their clear agenda. No, forget the other agenda. Every day they go into that board meeting when they're developing Last of Us Part 2. What's on the agenda today? Fuck over BG. Number one priority. Put a stamp on it. Certified. I'm gonna be in Naughty Dog mentions. I'm not gonna stop. And there's a petition. There's a petition going around. I I I, I pinned it, and I'm a, I pinned it on my Twitter page. Y'all should, should follow me on Twitter, by the way. Follow me on Twitter. Link in the links in the description for everything, including the petition. There's a there's a petition telling Naughty Dog that we want the multiplayer. I at least want them to know. Like I said, even if I, I doubt they're gonna add it, I at least want them to know there is a community out here that wants it. That definitely wants it. Am I buying the game? Of course. Of course. But why do people act like because you buying something, you can't be mad about something? 
Yeah, I'm buying the game. Just oh, you can't be mad uh, about uh, some something you love missing, even though you're buying the game. Like I don't see how that makes sense. I don't see how that makes sense because I still want to play the single player. I still want to play the single player, but that doesn't mean I can't complain about something that's missing or something that's wrong. I don't get that logic with y'all. I don't understand that logic with y'all. If you buying it, you can't go. Shut your greasy. Oh my, shut up. Shut up. Y'all greasy. Y'all greasy, filthy, freaking fur monkeys. Shut up. Yup. I need water. Shut up. Me buying the game voids nothing. Nothing. Because, in all honesty, I don't even believe in boycotting games. I've said that before. So, the thing about me, I'm Mr. Keep the Same Energy. I don't believe boycotting games really does shit. I don't believe in boycotting games. I believe in complaining. If you've watched me from 2008, you know my number one belief is complaining works. People always, people have always, always told me, oh, stop whining, stop bitching, stop moaning, stop complaining. Complaining works. You know how much shit I've got, you know how much shit I've wanted that, that's gotten done through complaining? You know how much shit I've complained about regarding games that have, that is, uh, that have changed things? A lot. And I have a track record of it. I, I, people recognize me as a prophet for a reason. A lot of the shit I complain about gets changed. A lot of it. So, no, I don't believe in boycotting, but I believe in complaining. The power of complaints is real. So I'm going to keep on complaining. I'm going to keep complaining. And I'm going to stay in Naughty Dog Mansion. Sign that petition, y'all. Sign that petition. <sighs> Man, what a generation. What a generation. Dying Light 2, two going to be my, my game of the generation. My, excuse me. God of War is my game of the generation. Dying Light 2 is going to be my game of the year 2020. Because this game is missing a feature. So I don't care what happens in that single player. I'm giving, I'm giving some other game my game of the year for 2020. It ain't going to be Last of Us 2. I don't care. I apologize. Some of y'all don't care. This quality will be improved because I'm going to start using my DSLR camera, by the way. I'm getting rid of this webcam. You might see the, the notice the webcam doesn't blend in with the green screen as much. So I'm I'm you know I'm always out here improving my improving my my quality. So I'm gonna that's gonna be improved. It even gets the lighting off. This damn thing makes me look red. I'm brown skin. This 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 webcam, even though it's the best webcam on the market, it's still a webcam. It's still limited. It makes me look brown and then and then red and then a little bit white. What am what am I complaining about? What, 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 what am I ranting about right now? I'm going off on a tangent. I just wanted to, I just wanted to let y'all know that though. It's, it's bo everything is bothering me now. This is bothering me. This quality is insufficient now for me. What am I going what, like I had a multiplayer game to look forward to, to to streaming to uploading uploading a lot of you know multiplayer matches that I, I thought I did I thought I had that game now I don't there's no multiplayer game coming out in the foreseeable future that I know of that I can think about that I've seen so I guess it's just Just gotta hope for next gen is better. Gotta hope next gen is better. My name is Broken Games HDR. Hit that like button. I appreciate all of you. I'll catch y'all later.
Make sure y'all follow all the links in the description. Peace.